we bought everything waterproof and made it into an unbreakable wall. But what's the point of an unbreakable waterproof wall if you're not gonna get it wet? So we pulled some favors, got a pool, loaded up the weapons bin, and tested the wall underwater. I quickly found out that holding my breath over and over again for hours made me sick, and this wall was way stronger than we thought. Will the wall survive? Heck, will just Dustin survive? Let's find out. I got weight. I got a wall made of all the waterproof tape in the world. Or at least the ones that they sold at my local Home Depot. But you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy. I put this under. <laughs> oh wow, that sinks fast. Yeah. Well, it's a weight. It should. It should sink fast. There's literally every waterproof everything on here. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna test. Well, I guess we're already testing how waterproof it is. So we're gonna find out if it's unbreakable. Oh my god. This is gonna be a good video. Let's do it. All right. Now, since this is an underwater wall, okay, we're gonna have to use underwater sort of weapons. Don't worry. We're still using some of our regular weapons as well. They're just gonna be underwater. But now we got other. Like that. Ah, you guys know what this is? This is like a like a some type of air can. I thought it was an air horn when I bought it, and I wanted to hear if it can go underwater. Turns out it's not. It's for computer parts. So just just dust off the lens. We're gonna see if it works underwater. Okay, it turns out this is not the best underwater. It's really cool underwater, but it's no better of a weapon underwater than it is. Oh, ow. Okay, it's better on top of water. So are you seeing real weapons? Yeah. I can't even speak real weapons. Let's do this. Next up is uh, Raphael's nunchuck thing. It's not a nunchuck, it's just, I don't know what these are called. This is next up. They suck. They're not even sharp. Have a sharpening thing. You guys should sharpen the box. You should. You should. Ninja throwing knives. You can throw them and they fly above water, but do they fly the same way in water? It's not flying if it's in water, right? It's not. It's not. Is it flying if it's in water? I'm gonna have to talk to an expert. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's swimming. Swimming knives. Let's try them out. Anybody go? Oh, I was. I was not ready for that. Okay, so can't throw throwing knives or fly flying. I'm so confused right now. Swimming knives, they don't work underwater is what I'm trying to tell you at all. I threw it and it literally went this far and almost stabbed me in the foot. This video might not go the way as planned, but we're still gonna get through this wall. Ball and chain, I think they call it a flail. It's, uh, it's pretty heavy, it's spiky, it's got a little it's got a little crayon on it still, don't tell anyone, but uh, I think this is gonna work. It's gonna be like a, like a big fish tail, like a whale tail, or some other type of animal tail. I don't even know if that hit the wall. I don't even know if it hit the wall. The, the flailing doesn't work, but the stabbing, it kind of works. Yeah, I need, I need a new weapon. All right, now you know what they say, right? If you can dodge a wrench, ah, you can dodge a ball. I'm sorry, Jeremy. That, so that had nothing to do with this. In fact, I don't, I don't even have a wrench now. Or do I? I got a giant rusty wrench that I found under the bench over there, and it's not even mine. Is this allowed in the pool? Yeah, it's, it's, it's too late. It's going in the pool. And yeah, I changed out of the wetsuit because I was way too buoyant, okay? I'm trying to be dense, trying to... I don't need to explain myself. I'm going to get back in the pool. I need my goggles. Ah! Damn it! You see the damage? I saw it. Let's just damage report. Let's do it. 
The wrench doesn't work. I don't know why I'm holding it up like a trophy like it worked because it, it didn't work. Which camera do I even talk to? It doesn't work. It does this one. It doesn't work. Now one of my favorite weapons above water is the bow and arrow. Okay, that, that almost went really wrong. The bow and arrow. Did I hit the wall? You, you don't know? Nobody knows? All right. Well, who likes hunting an underwater wall from above water? You got to go in the water and find me shooting a bow and arrow underwater. Are you wondering if it works? I wonder too. Let's go find out. Now when I think of underwater, I think of the obvious, okay? I think of Flex Seal, and this bat may not remind you guys of Flex Seal, but it does for me, because see this, see this end here? I know it looks like a seamless transition, that's because it is. There's Flex Seal on the grip of this bat. I dip it in water, I take it out, still a ton of grip. I throw it in the water, and it even works underwater. There's no point, it, obviously it's a, it's a bat. Of course it works underwater. Now, hey, bats don't, bats float. Did you know bats float? Huh, I have to, I have to go get that now, Jeremy. What? You want to? You want to get that? I'll, I'll give. I'll give you a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars just to get it? A hundred dollars. I'll get it right now. Whoa! What's the bat? I don't know. Oh, it's right there. I got it. Ah, okay, come okay. on. Okay, ah, come on. Okay. Okay, all right. You good? I'm good. Okay, let's use this underwater. Okay. Oh. Is it possible? Given the circumstances, I think this is the hardest wall to break yet. Probably not the toughest wall, but it's the hardest to break. Now, remember when I said it's not fun to attack an underwater wall from outside the water? Well, I take that back, because now I have a grappler. Ah! Oh, I got it! I got it! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on! That was successful, but unsuccessful, if you get what I mean. Next weapon. New plan, we got a tomahawk. See this, this end, it's sharp. Hopefully it's gonna make a hole, but again, I'm gonna try to throw it. The ninja blades, obviously you can't really throw it because they just flutter in the water and they're too light. This is heavy, let's give it a shot. Turns out you can't throw axes in water. At least you can, but they don't they don't go very you can't throw anything in water is what this has come down to, unless you maybe threw a fish and then it swam into the wall. Wow, what if we had live fish? Piranhas versus the wall. Yeah, we're not gonna do that, but that I'm very tempted, and we're only not gonna do that because I don't have access to piranhas. But if you someone out there got piranhas for some weird reason, let me know. Now this next weapon is probably the one that's most suited for this video, for this challenge. I'm talking about the harpoon! You guys knew this was coming, and now since there's piranhas in the water. Okay, there's not piranhas in the water, but we got some piranhas here. We're going hunting. Personally, I got, I got personal beef with these ones, okay? This thing right here, yeah, this guy. Ah. I'm gonna get him from our boy Steve Irwin, all right? That took that one to heart. And the shark, nobody likes sharks. I, I like sharks personally, but for the, for the purpose of the video, I'm, I'm going hunting. Call me Aquaman. See that? That's for Steve right there. I guess Aquaman does, doesn't hunt fish, does he? He protects the sea. Oh, well, hope he doesn't like protecting walls because that's what I'm going after. Let's do this. All right, so the harpoon worked really well, to be honest. I didn't, it has that kind of fish prongy thing and I couldn't get it out, so, well, it's still stuck in the wall. Now, if that worked, I'm starting to think, oh. Start starting to think that that this might work. You didn't see that. None of you guys saw that. Camera back over here. This is like Aquaman's trident. Only it's not a trident. It's a mono dent. I'm gonna get in the water. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now you know what they say, okay? The number one way you beat water is fire. That's that's actually the complete opposite, but I have a flamethrower, so why not use it? Boil the water. Take all the water, boil it, evaporate it out of the pool. Hey, what? Wait for me to come out. That's fair. Get up there. Okay, go. Okay, can I boil the water? Yeah, I like this. Here we go. I'm not gonna jump in the pool with a flamethrower. You should. But I should. What if we heated the knife and then went and cut the wall? It was just cool, obviously. I'm gonna put the flamethrower away now, but fun while it lasted. Next weapon. This next weapon kind of scares me to put underwater, but I put the bow underwater and it worked kind of well. So what if we made that bow kind of more high power? Let's do this. Oh, you see that? We just need to be a little closer. Now the crossbow was a lot better than the bow and arrow, but problem is I didn't have a tip, so like it, it hit the wall, but it, it didn't go in. See this? I don't know what to say about it, but I'm gonna try it on the wall. Excuse that last little scene there where me and Jeremy were sword fighting. But if, in case you guys were paying attention. All right, now no more games. I think it's obvious, kid, that sharp things are the things that are gonna get the job done. And what's better than this? Poseidon's trident. It's more like a dwarf hobbit sort of elf. I'm going to the water with it. Poseidon's trident now. We're gonna stab the wall. Poseidon Schmashmiden, says Jeremy. Poseidon Trident. Poseidon Trident. Well, Poseidon didn't have a twisty knife, did he? I didn't even say twisty, I said swishty knife. Swishty knife. This is bound to work. So it's gonna happen. You know the, ah, oh, oh, I just kicked a pickaxe. Ah. Oh. What I was gonna say is, you know the only reason why they needed Poseidon and El Rockaman in the first place is because ninjas don't know how to swim. But this ninja does. know what this is this works on literally every single wall I've ever used this is always the weapon to go with so obviously we're gonna keep the tradition all right now I know it doesn't look like we've done a lot of damage to this but I've been off cam poking and stabbing the wall with everything I got and uh, <laughs> I think it's time. I think it's safe to say this has never been done before. Smash the like button. Football equipment's a really good life vest. <laughs> oh, turns out I can't swim fast enough to break through the wall. But lucky I had an exacto knife under there with me. Boom, boom, there are my two latest videos, and you guys know, I always like to leave on a high note. So